We're talking about a, a terribly serious subject, I mean, a life-threatening subject, heartworm. Heartworm disease, April is National Pet Awareness for Heartworm and Prevention Month. Hmm. Now, and by the way, as we look at this creepy cross-section of heart, this is a dog's heart, and the, the white... Th those are the heartworms down into the chamber and actually going through the valves right, as well. Right, absolutely. Those are adult heartworms that can clog up your pet's heart, cause heart disease, and inadvertently death sure. in the end. Sure. So we want to prevent this disease. How do we get it? How do we not get it? I mean, how do our pets get it and not get it? Well, I think I was telling you before the break that when we rescued all the animals from Katrina, right. our bleeding hearts took those dogs in but never had them heartworm tested. And so now we have heartworm that's been reported in all 50 states, mm. whereas it wasn't before. Before, because of the migration and travel, people brought animals in that were positive. It's transmitted through a mosquito bite. Okay. So an infected mosquito can bite your pet and transmit that again to the next pet and carrying heartworm disease. Uh, you know, we can prevent it to begin with. With uh, is it a, a, a shot that a dog has to get? Is it a pill that they take? What's the what's the? There's uh, several different applications. There are shots out there. I, I like the tablet. The the monthly tablets are a little bit safer, in my opinion. That's just my opinion, though. Um, I like the Sentinels and the Heart Guards. They're nice and safe. But you want to make sure before you put your pet on any heartworm prevention to always have your pet tested and. The American Heartworm Association also recommends yearly testing, not yeah. every other year. A lot of veterinarians try to scoot around that but every if, year. Even if you're taking the, the medication. Even advance. if you take the medication okay. because nothing's 100%. And if you give one of those to your pets, say they go out in the yard, they get sick, throw it up. Uh, now you've just course. lost that medicine in the grass. Now, correct me. I keep saying dog, and it's not just dogs. That's what we think. But cats can get it, too. Right. Cats also can get it. Auburn has the highest amount of kitty cat infections in oh, the country, if really? you can believe it. So there are some uh, there are some topicals. I like the Revolution product. HeartGuard also has a chewable for cats that you can use monthly to prevent mm. it. But in cats, there's no treatment or cure for it. So we want to make sure to use prevention. Okay. And for dogs, there is a treatment. If, there is a treatment. If your dog Very tests costly. Okay. And you know who knows how much damage has happened to the heart. Sure. So we want to prevent it more than anything. An ounce of prevention. Good stuff. Thanks, Joe. We appreciate it. And again, Thank this you. is one of our more serious topics. Absolutely. Uh, life-threatening for your pets. So check with your vet. And if you need a vet, uh, check out Dr. Jill. You can uh, find her online to schedule an appointment at uh, drjill.com, D-R-J-Y-L, or you can give her a call. You see her number there on your screen, 916-989-0738.